A special day for a SoCal teenager who has survived so much in his 18 years. He had a miracle heart transplant just days ago, but he missed his high school graduation. KCAL's Joy Benedict was there today as the hospital held a heartwarming ceremony mm -hmm. in his honor. It wasn't the walk this high school senior had planned for. Joseph Bomarito Ottman, But as Joseph Bomarito Ottman heard his name, it was a victory in education and in health. I wasn't even expecting it. They just woke me up. They said, like, put your cap and gown on. You see, Joseph was born with a heart condition he's been fighting his entire life, which is why he is here at the Loma Linda University Children's Hospital. I know it's called congestive heart failure. The heart congestive heart failure, you know, only half of a heart um, caused a lot of difficulties for Joseph. So learning difficulties, writing difficulties. For this 18-year-old, it was far from easy. He had four heart surgeries before the age of four and ended up in foster care at the age of six. He then found a loving family with parents who are very proud. He never uh, wavered in, in trying hard. He had to try harder than the other children. But the reason this young man couldn't make his graduation at Vista Murrieta High School wasn't because he was sick. It's because he was given the gift of life, a new heart. When I first got on the list, you know, they have a transplant list. They said it could take up to years, like decades for people to get new hearts. And it took me like a couple of months. And here I am with a new heart. He didn't just graduate. He got a heart transplant five days ago. Dr. Natalie Schweish is his pediatric cardiologist. We found a wonderful heart for him just recently from a very generous donor. So in this room with masks on, his family, his hospital heroes and friends honored his milestone as his teacher handed him his diploma. I could not have done this by myself. Uh, I don't think anybody could have done this. So this is all like a a culmination of uh, uh, many people's efforts. A mark of a new beginning and a hopefully healthy future for a young man who's not only a high school grad, but a champion in life. This is giving me like a, a second wind, you know, not as much as a, a, a second chance, but a second wind. Now I get to have a new drive, a new passion again. Joseph is going to have to stay here in the hospital at least for a few weeks and then recover over the summer before his next big challenge, and it's going to be college. He's enrolled in Mount San Jacinto in the fall. Joy Benedict, KCAL News. So happy for him, and those yeah. are parents just as great. Second Love wind. Yeah, I really second like wind, that. Not Congratulations. A second